well, that's one. What, and that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So like this, it maybe gives those teams even more of an opportunity to go and make this happen with Malik. The only thing about the red shirt option, yes. as much as we sit here and say logically, yeah, that it doesn't always sense. happen that way. When we Start, get to the season, some we'll losses right back on. up. Yeah. <laughs> right. When yeah. are we going to see Malik Willis? When is he going to get his opportunity to play? But I do think like this is similar in a different way than the Trey Lance situation. If you do have the luxury of having a veteran quarterback that you can play for that year, it does allow you to allow to let him serve as an apprentice to learn the game on the practice field to sure. kind of work out some of those kinks to um, let him master the system in some regard before he gets on the field. I think that does enhance his opportunity of having success early. Hey, Steve, uh, Steve White is down with us on the field. Uh, how come uh, Ian Rappaport doesn't have his uh, scouting <laughs> notebook out there? Our NFL Network mm. insider just standing around yucking it up back there. Hey. <laughs> Ian is milking everybody for other information, <laughs> not not related to me, Malik Willis. You know how Ian works it, man. He, he's all over, but he's he also does. working this. But I wanted to piggyback on what you guys were saying about the particular team, the quarterback needs, or how he could be an apprentice. Look, based on you know his running ability and things, team, you know, people I spoke to said, look, you can put a couple packages in for him, like the Niners did with Trey Lance. Guys, every time I'm on here, these releases is an unbelievable throw. Look at the celebration here. Let's go, Cam. Look at Malik. That was Take insane. Look at Malik Willis. Look at him running down to the end zone. Get it done. Love it. That's the show off of that. That's the official pro day that from is last year. Show off throw. And did he ever? <laughs> and it, Fine if you guys, want to end real, it there, my quick, man. Back to how you can put. Yeah, I don't know if they're. It looks like they're flipping the field. I don't think we're done here. Yeah, they're just going to get a different, right? different perspective. Uh, Bam. Help things out. That is a show. So that was the same that throw smile. we saw last year from Trevor Lawrence, Zach, Zach Wilson. Wilson the that's a requisite. That was the, Everybody was doing everyone it. Everyone needs. You, you have to show that one. <laughs> Got to have that one in the repertoire. Look at him and Quincy. <laughs> yeah, now we're down that one in there, zone. coach. There we go. We'll get some red zone throws now. Nice ball. Put that one in the bucket. Hey, Guys, this is a heck of a workout. This is now. really impressive. Yeah, it is. So here's the other thing, too. We talked about we've seen some of these workouts where guys weren't conditioned enough to really make it through. They'll go from pushing it down the field to then doing the intermediate stuff to be able to calm yourself down. And now can you deliver accurate throws? I know it's on air, but still being able to change your level of concentration and get back on track and be focused. No, look, it's just like it's just, just like a game. You're going down there. You throw a, you know, a huge, deep touchdown. Go down there, celebrate it, be happy about it. And then let's oh, get it ready. Two. It's ready to do it next there. Yeah. So that's perfect. Yeah. Right on the money. That's a heck of a workout, you guys. And this I don't know that I've seen and this sound may sound I don't know if I've seen a more joyful workout than this one. No, like, I, oh, this, really he is like a lot of guys get locked in and they're kind of in that zone. It's very intense. He is loose, he is comfortable, he is having fun, and he is yeah. letting it rip. This is as good as any workout we, we saw really a year good. ago. It, it's outstanding. For sure. And there's I mean the juice for days on this one. Love the support crew. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You got this fade. Well, I think that's the other thing that you have to consider. We talk about guys, do they bring energy or do they remove energy from the sport? Yeah. And so some people talk about thermostat leaders. Do they change the yeah. temperature of the room when he walks in? He appears to it's have all the right things to, to raise the energy. I like that. He appears to have this, this kind of personality. People like being around him. That matters. Love it. Yep. It'll right. be fascinating to see in this draft, though. You know, we talk about these teams up here in the top 11, right? Detroit at 2, Carolina 6, Atlanta 8, Seattle 9, Washington 11. Just if we look at those teams, right, is this going to be a draft where we see them potentially take a quarterback there, or are they coming back up? You know, make a, make a selection there in the top 11, then you come back in bottom of one to try and get one of these guys. Uh, that, that to me appears to be the more likely scenario that as much as we may talk about okay. these guys being top 10 because of the, 12, the need for quarterback, 12, maybe it's the bottom of the first the round. We take someone at a different position early, then we come back in late in the 20s sure. to get the quarterback that we want. Or you have the Pittsburgh Steelers just sitting there right at 20, so you know? Hey, I mean, they've got a quarterback in Mitchell Bobby. Trubisky who they obviously love the athleticism that he brought Nine to the yards. table. Nine yards. I mean, hey, but I mean, I, when they signed Mitchell Trubisky, I thought, okay, they're going to wait on the quarterback. Then the terms of the contract came saying. out, and I thought, oh, no, nah, they're not. They're very much in the quarterback. Backup slash bridge oh, deal. Sorry, sorry, yes. Yes. Yeah. 
No, it's, there's oh, sorry, obviously fine, incentives fine. that are going to make it more along the lines of something you might see in today's league. But like I was saying, it just doesn't preclude them from yep. not taking, you know, it, it doesn't keep them from taking a quarterback in the first round. And you want to talk about weather and you want to talk about, you know, adverse conditions and his ability to thrive in a type of environment, Pitt fits the bill. Frank, you up next. There's been a handful of throws, kind of middle of the field throws, where you know they've been completions, but the ball placement hasn't been That's perfect. Yep. Takes off. There's one. Focus in. Yep. But, I mean, if you're trying to nitpick and say, okay, what, what are the knocks here? It's tough. No, nah, but you know, and, and that's the thing. Like we talk about some of the accuracy stuff. I mean, that's that's in the deal. That's part of his game, and whatever. But then what you're banking on, the tools and the talent, the athleticism, the playmaking ability, the big time arm that maybe you're going to live through some of those imperfections. Sure. Because the upside and the potential and what could happen if he kind of puts it together. He's going to make a ton of plays. Yeah, it's hard not to be infatuated with some of that wow stuff that we've seen here today. And then, you know, some of the check, check the, you know, the boxes that had a little bit left unchecked from the tape. Right a little bit of that, a little bit of the, you know, the touch throws to take some of the RPMs off. Start to work some of that in. Huh? It's tough. I, I, I don't remember a year where it was more difficult to try and figure out not only where what teams are going to yeah. select quarterbacks, but just in turn, if you told me as we sit here right now on March 22nd that we had – Four quarterbacks land somewhere in the first round. I wouldn't be shocked if you told me we had one quarterback sure. in the first round. I would not be shocked. It's wide open. It, it is wide open. I also wonder, like when we talk about ranking them, a lot of times we've always ranked the guys that have played the best doing their thing. But then does it change when we talk about guy, upside of potential based on what we've seen from the quarterback? Now? There you go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a pro day workout from Malik Willis. There on a campus of Liberty University. Enjoyed it. Maybe more than any quarterback we've seen since we started doing these. He had energy and the ball had energy. The ball had plenty of energy and you could feel it inside the building there. That was some fun, folks, right there. Malik Willis in a Path to the Draft Pro Day special here. Taking a little victory lap here.